everyone, this is Jared Fink with Project 3.0. One of the things I've been working towards before I go down to Nashville is looking for better instruments. Now the ones that I have are pretty decent, but when it comes to the tonal qualities, like I want to have the best since I'm going to be recording with them. So the first one that I've been looking for is a better guitar. I've had pretty decent guitars through the years, but again, I'm looking for that ultimate sounding instrument. Stay tuned for later in the show, the sales rep at Dave's Guitar Store was kind enough to play some tunes with me. So we're going to do a little bit of jamming as well. It's going to be fun. Hey, so we're on our way to Dave's Guitar Store in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We're just passing through and I actually have two guitars that I want to bring there. Um, I've got a Taylor 710ZE. So we're looking at either trading it in or consigning it. And then I just recently uh, purchased a Mark D18. And it's actually a custom, so it's got like a curly mahogany. We're going to see about possibly trading both of those in. there that I kind of have my eye on. It's a Collings D2H and that's just the standard dreadnought but I've always wanted to, to look into a Collings. They're, they're well known especially in the bluegrass world as being a, a powerful whether it's a background rhythm or you know, your solos with the guitar. It's, it's definitely I've been to Dave's Guitar Shop many times throughout the years as I've traveled through Wisconsin. It's known as one of the largest retail music stores in the Midwest with over 2,500 guitars in stock. It's sure to have a guitar for any genre. Alright, we made it. We're here at Dave's Guitar Shop. We're gonna go inside and check it out. All right, so this is it. This is kind of the electric guitar section of it. All right, here's their acoustic room. Oh, they've got quite a wide selection. Martins, Gibsons. Well, we made it here and we got my Martin and the Taylor and then the Callings that we're going to be trying out and I'm excited to give it a shot. So we're going to start out with the Taylor which has been the one that I started on. My dad gave it to me back when I was 14. This is the Martin now, and this Martin is very, it's got a lot of boom to it. I like the tone of it, but it's definitely got that bluegrass bark to it. Wow, first off, it's, it's 
it's not doesn't have as much of a bark as the Martin, but it's got a very full tone to it. Man, that playability way up the neck, it's super nice. It's got that perfect roundness, the tone, it's the same all the way through the strings. Salt Creek, that would work. Yeah, I know, this is, this is what I need, this guy right here. Yeah, so I decided after looking the three over that I'm gonna go with the callings and it's definitely what I need for recording. It's got a lot of versatility and the tone and everything. Well, one of the benefits of this is it's got a bit more of a V to the neck and I was worried that I wouldn't like the neck because I've been used to Taylor pretty much my whole guitar life. And so playing this callings, it's actually quite surprising how uh, it's not really similar, but it's really easy to get your thumb around there and strum those chords. It's very smooth. Alright, well I did it. I went with the callings, so purchased the callings. We decided we're going to put the 
Martin and the Taylor on consignment and sample sell, but I'm a lot more confident now um, when we finally go to Nashville that we'll be able to go ahead and do some good recording. So, alright, catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I had a blast explaining the difference between the three guitars. I'm very passionate about the music that I play. Another thing I'm passionate about is sharing who Jesus Christ is. Did you know that Jesus Christ is God's Son? And that over 2,000 years ago, He came from heaven down to earth to pay for the price of sin. And in the Bible, in 1 Corinthians 15, it talks about how Jesus died on a cross and how he was buried, but then three days later, he actually rose from the grave. And if you believe this message, if you believe this gospel, you too can have assurance that someday you will go to heaven to live with him. Now that's good news. Hey, I'll catch you in the next video.